In this spreadsheet, I have some famous people and I would like to calculate their age from the date of birth in column D. We'll start with a very simple formula to calculate age in years. To calculate the age, we need to first to find out the difference from today, which you can get with the today formula and then subtract that from the date of birth. Notice that the date of birth column or the date column should be properly formatted as a date. When you do this, you will get their age in total number of days. So for example, Andrea Agassi's age is 18,857 days. Since we want to calculate his age in years, we will then take this total number and then divide that with 365. And then you will get the age of Andrea Agassi as 51.66 years. And then when you drag this formula down, you will calculate the ages for everybody else in the table. You might be thinking, hmm, this is good, but what about the leap years? A year is actually 365.25 days. If you want to be really technical, then you could kind of do the division with 365.25, which is the total number of days in a year going by J's logic. And then that number can be recalculated. There is another alternative formula that you could also use if you just want to calculate the number 51 alone without the decimal one. You could use this date diff function. This is one of those Excel functions that is hidden, so it's not even documented. As you could see, if I'm typing date diff, no help appears. And then point to the date of birth, comma, today. And within double quotes, if you put capital Y, then we will get 51 as the answer. Notice that it won't show you the decimal proportion and it will give you the age. There is some problem with the date if function though, but if you want, you can read up more by just selecting date diff and clicking on this, which will open up the help article that will explain more about date diff. But for now, let's talk about a few more alternative formulas. Let's say you want to calculate age as of a specific date. Here I want to calculate their age as of 1 Jan 2022, but I could change the input value as well. So in this case, our formula is again similar, but this time instead of today minus, we will select G4 because G4 is an input cell. I'm going to lock it with $G$4 minus date of birth. And then this whole expression, divide it with 365 to get the age as of 1 Jan 2022 and you can again change this value so let's say what their age would be at 31 December 2022 and we will be able to calculate that maybe you want to calculate how many days are left when this person will be 60 years old to do that we need to take their date of birth and then add 60 times 12 months because each year has 12 months so there is a formula that can directly do that this is the e date function e date of starting date and then if I add, let's just say 12 months, I'll get their first birthday. Of course, we'll get this as a number representation, but using the control shift three shortcut, I can see that as a date. So 29 April 1970 is date of birth. 29 April 1971 is their first birthday. We don't want first birthday. We want their 60th birthday. So we'll multiply this with 60 and we will get their 60th birthday as 29 April 2030. Then subtract today's date from it and we will get this as a date format but if I just change this to number there will be 60 in 3058 days and then I can just fill this down I can see how long each person has left for their 60th birthday pretty cool we can use the same logic to calculate employee details for example here in awesome chocolates we would like to celebrate employees fifth anniversary in the company so I calculated their fifth anniversary using e date of date join 5 times 12 minus two date dates and you could see that some of these employees are quite far away but Jan's fifth anniversary is coming up in about 25 days yay go ahead and download a copy of this file if you would like to learn more about these formulas there is an extra surprise hidden in the workbook for you and if you would like to learn a little bit more about excel date formulas here are two videos that i recommend for you Bye-bye.